G'day and welcome to a quick Space Engineers tutorial. Many of you would have started playing on a multiplayer server and spawned in one of these drop pods. Now, one of the things that's different about this pod to any other grid in the game is that this thing is marked as a drop pod. That means if you try and spawn another one of it, this one will get deleted. In some situations, you probably don't want that to happen. Unfortunately, there is a bonus to this drop pod, which is this respawn pod marker. And if we get rid of this whole respawn ship, it will get removed if you spawn a new one. It will also get rid of that GPS marker, but that's a small price to pay. I think it's worth it if you want to protect whatever you're building on to your respawn pod. So how do we do that? Well, we need to merge block this to another grid and that grid has to be static. So given this is vanilla, and with progression enabled, there are a few things we've got to do. First off, grind down this landing gear to below its functional and then rebuild it to unlock the ability to build cockpits. Then we're going to go into our G menu. We're going to grab a remote control and we also need to grab a solar panel. The reason we need solar panels is because we're going to need to unlock merge blocks. Merge blocks are unlocked by building either of the power production things. So building your solar panel or your wind turbine. You can see merge blocks right here. So we'll build both of those and then that's gonna unlock the final blocks we need. So I'm gonna start by popping down a solar panel, which is gonna unlock my merge blocks. And let's get rid of this because flying with this on is gonna be difficult and we are going to need to fly this drop pod. What I would normally do with this drop pod is make it flyable very early on. And the easiest way to do that is to put a remote control on here Build that, and then put a gyroscope on, and it's then technically flyable. It's not the easiest thing to fly, but you can fly it. So let's get a gyroscope, we'll pop that on there for now. Normally I'd put this in a much more sensible position, but this will work. And then we need to set up our merge blocks. So, for our merge blocks, we want a block in the ground here, just to make things a bit easier. Then a landing gear on top. The block in the ground isn't strictly necessary, but it does make it a bit easier by keeping the landing gear level. However, the landing gear must be directly connected to the merge block. You can't have a piston or a rotor in between because then this technique will not work. What we're doing is effectively making the drop pod attached to a grid that is currently static. And that's the important part, or at least it seems to be from what I've played around with. Then on top of that small grid lander gear, we need to place a merge block. I'm going to place it oriented like that. And there we go. Now onto our drop pod, we need to place a merge block here too. And I probably shouldn't have put that gyroscope where I did, but we'll just extend this out a little bit and pop the merge block facing downward on here. You need to make sure that the teeth on the merge block are going to mesh to one another. So one's pointing up and one's pointing down. Now, I can make my life a little bit easier by getting this thruster off and this thruster off because I only need two for lift on the Earth-like. In fact, even on the alien planet, which has higher gravity, you can get away with just two thrusters. So that means I can take those two that were lifting ones and use them for forward and backwards just to make my flight a little bit safer. And there we go. Now we hop into our Critical. seat if I can or we grind through here so that I can make my life easier once in the seat we need to show hidden blocks turn on our two lifting thrusters grab control of our remote control block so find it in here and scroll down to control and now I can fly this thing I'll need to unlock the landing gear and because I am the man who said don't press P never press P P is evil blah 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 all that thing I'm going to put switch lock for all of these landing gear on my hot bar so I can unlock without having to press P. Because P is a bad habit to get into. Now what I need to do is just fly over and get these two merge blocks to link to one another. You don't need power for merge blocks, they will work just fine without it. So I don't need to put any power on that grid that the landing gear merge block pair is on. And now. I just keep moving until the magnets bring me close enough that they snap. And there we go. Now, when I hop out, 
critical. You'll see that when I try and build onto here, I no longer get the warning that this is a spawn ship. So we're good to use this and even more importantly, we're good to spawn with a new spawn ship. And this one will still remain. I can prove that by turning off the survival kit. Respawning in a new Earth-like drop pod. And then pressing Alt F10, because I'm in single player here, and going to my entity list. We've got our little static grid here, and we've got our drop pod here, and then we've got the one that I'm in. They are both, you can see my dead body here to prove that that is the one that I was <laughs> respawning from. So there you go. That's how you can quickly get your drop pod no longer to be treated as a drop pod. It's quite a handy thing on multiplayer servers and something that might even be useful to people in single player as well. Big thank you to Roman for teaching me this. I did not realize this was how we could do it. It makes sense though, because back in the days of the large grid drop pod, most people would do a similar trick where they would put a couple of blocks in the ground, stick a merge block on top, and then merge their drop pod to that to get rid of the respawn ship warning. If you've got any other tips like this that you think might be useful, please let me know. I will be returning back to my multiplayer shenanigans on the Keen servers very shortly. So there's all that and plenty more to come, and I will see you then.